everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to talk to you guys about 10 cheap things that are not worth the money. Let me get started. I have some of these items now, and if I don't, I've had them in the past. And as always, below in the comments, I want to hear from you what is not worth it if you spend very little money on it, that it's better if you spend quality. I want to hear from you in the comments below. I'm going to start for one shoes. Now this particular flip-flop is actually in pretty decent shape, but I've had flip-flops, for example, before that I've gotten from the Dollar Tree because I needed something quick and they're a dollar and they have no support at all. I'm not saying you couldn't wear them in a pinch for a very short period of time, but personally it's not something you'd want to wear all the time or take a walk in. I don't feel that they're good support for your back, your arches, anything. So I'm going to say buying a dollar or two dollar pair of shoes is not worth it in my book. Number two, and a friend actually told me this, I usually buy sunglasses from the Dollar Tree, but I've been reading more about this. If you want to buy decent sunglasses, you should be getting ones that actually cover this part of your eye too, because sun can still get in over on this. And these are just cheap ones. Yes, they're great if you're in a car maybe, but sometimes if you're outside, this maybe doesn't give you full coverage. That's what I wanted to say. Another thing, and I'm not spending a lot on clothes right now, but like this shirt is nice, but it's kind of pilled a little bit. And some clothes that I've had, they've worn really well for a long time and I can keep from them for a long time, but I've had some other clothing before that it doesn't last very many washes or very many summers. So sometimes it depends if you want to buy clothing that's just for cleaning and knocking around and you don't care about the quality or you want to buy some clothing that's made to last. So sometimes really cheap clothing and clothing that's not well made may not always be worth the money. Another thing, and I've learned a lesson on this one, inexpensive bras. Now it depends on the person, but sometimes they, they don't last, they don't hold you up. Sometimes I feel, especially for some people, getting two good quality bras that are really sturdy will be made to last longer and also make you look much better in your clothing. Number five, and I know I've got a bunch of these, a really cheap umbrella. We got this from the Dollar Tree. Yes, it's fine with little light rain, but any kind of heavy rain, the plastic, it goes up and it, it, they're not made to last and they break kind of easily. Now, something else, and I put kitchen items, I don't have the plastic one anymore, but I, this is, as you know, use this as an apple core. It's great. It works really well on smaller apples. This one has lasted me for a long time. It's actually from Pampered Chef, not affiliated, but I bought it a long time ago. We've had plastic ones of these, and I remember we brought it and it lasted for really tiny apples, but one time we used it, ended up cracking and not working very well. So... A lot of times, many plastic kitchen items do not work well, which also brings me to ice trays. This is something else that I found. Now, this one is better quality, but there's some that you get at the Dollar Tree, too, for a dollar. You know what? They crack really easily, and we end up having to replace a lot. So sometimes getting an ice tray that's sturdier and better quality, you will have to replace them less. Next... And I said this, this is a better broom that my husband got, but we bought them from the Dollar Tree before. They don't last very long. This one my husband got, I'm not sure where, maybe at a home store, but it's lasted us a long time. But the ones we've gotten from the Dollar Tree, they don't last very long. So yes, we're spending a dollar, but we're having to constantly replace items. So that is something to think about. Number nine really cheap pens. Now we've got more pens than I know what to do with, but I've got some cheap quality pens or crayons, some certain office supplies. For example, with crayons, if I had to color, I'm going to want to buy Crayola. I've gotten the cheap crayons and they snap and they break. Same with pens. They don't last as long. They sometimes leak. And last but not least, and this is a big one, and not that I need the best of everything, but I've purchased some of these eyeliners that are super cheap, you know, a dollar, a couple dollars. They do not show up at all. You can go like this on your eye and there, it doesn't show up. So it's definitely not worth it. I know there's more items than this, guys, 
but I'm sure I could think about them on another video. I'm going to actually do another video about things that don't cost very much money that are worth the price. I'm going to do that coming up, but I want to hear from you in the comments below. What have you purchased that might be less than $5 that just was not worth the price and it's better if you spend more money and get quality? I want to hear from you in the comments below. This is Money Mom signing off and as always, I love you. Bye-bye.